I am now in my dashboard in WordPress for EC Web Design Tutorials. And just to check out what it looks like, I can just copy this and open up a new tab and just remove the, the WP admin area. So this is the default 2010 theme. So I'll go into the other tab and I'm going to install a theme. I can either use this or find another one. So I've used the thematic before and I want to use that again. So you can do a preview and just check out what it looks like. So pretty basic. And I'm going to install that. It's uh, fairly easy to uh, modify it. So it's successfully installed it. So I'll activate it. It's now the current theme. Go to other tab and refresh. So this is the starting page, the sample page that comes with it. So it should be in my folder here as well in htdocs WordPress here. In my content themes and here it is, here's thematic. So I'm opening it up as you see. And I want to go, to, here it says thematic sample child theme. A child theme is something you would modify some files outside the main theme and you basically use those modified files and the theme. So it's called a, cheer, uh, a child theme. So as it says here, use these files to start your own thematic child theme development. So rename and move this entire folder to root level of the content themes. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this folder Here's the themes area. I'll just put that back in. And I'm going to rename it. So I'll just rename it child. So remember, we're doing this because when you in install an update to the main theme, it's not going to change the child theme files. Because in here, I'll have just certain files, and the rest of the files will be in thematic. So I'll activate this in just a moment. But before that, I'll open it up. And I'm going to open up the style. So here it is. Here's the style. And the style is basically where you'd have, or as it is below here, import different CSS files. I'll just probably just uh, leave it as it is and I'm the author of this and the website I want it to is easy web design tutorials dot com template yes it's going to use the thematic template so here it imports different CSS files and if you see down here it, it mentions actually copy over default CSS default CSS because this is uh, there will be a lot of code in here that I will change to get the site to look like I wanted to so we'll get back to the parent thematic and look for defaults and the default is in library styles and default library styles and here's the default I'll just drag it into Smalltron or you can just use any text editor you would like copy this code I just press now command A remember I'm on a Mac and then copy 
I would take below all the imports here and just paste it in. So suddenly there's CSS for different sections of the website or the theme. So this is not going to be imported any longer, so I'll just comment it out like so. And, and here's the opening comment and this is the closing comment. Save the file. So I'm going to go back into my backend here. So I'll do a refresh. And a thematic child theme by me. So I'll just activate it. So there's not much of a change, but I'm now using the child theme. So I'll I'll take some code, different files I need from the main parent theme, which is the thematic, and I'll modify it inside the child theme. So this is how you would make a child theme.